Hi everyone, it's Holly. So today I'm gonna to be talking about dyeing dreadlocks. As you can probably guess, my hair is not naturally pink. I dye my dreadlocks to get them this color. Um, dyeing dreads is quite difficult, like different to dyeing normal hair. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of talk you through how I do it, um, what I find works for me, and hopefully it will be useful to you. So my dreads are obviously, they are pink on the ends. Um, all of this hair here is, this is when I had like normal hair and it had been bleached and then I would put this dye over the top. So all the stuff at the top is just my own natural hair color. I don't dye it, I don't do anything to it, I just leave it. So I'm only putting the color on these bottom parts of my hair. So I would say I dye my dreads maybe every two or three months. Um, I don't wash my hair very often, I wash my hair every two or three months. Um, I just kind of leave it. Um, that's the great thing about dreadlocks, it just kind of does its own thing. Um, quite often, I feel like I wouldn't even need to wash my hair if it wasn't for the fact that I did need to dye my dreads. Um, and sometimes when I do it, because my, I have got this kind of ombre thing going on, I will just dye just the bottom part and I won't wash the roots of my hair because it, it makes them fluffy and I can't be asked with it, so. I don't bother. So the stuff you're gonna need when you're dyeing your dreadlocks, um, you're gonna need three towels. Um, why is it three? I've written a list, so I'm reading out all the stuff on the list. Three towels, so you need one towel, I have props, one towel to go around your shoulders, um, one towel to sit on, like a big towel, and then one towel for actually washing your hair. Um, this is the way that works best for me. Um, my hair, I did have much longer hair and obviously now it's shorter. Now it's shorter, it's easier to dye and it makes less of a mess, but you still need a big towel to sit on because otherwise it will go everywhere. Um, the other thing you're gonna need is some hair dye. This is what I use, it's crazy color in Cyclamen. That's the pink that I find works best for me. Um, it's weird because when you've got dreads, you're not washing your hair. The thing that takes the color out isn't washing, it's the sun. Um, and this one I find stays in best. You will also need a pair of gloves. As you can see, I've used these before. They used to be blue and now they're pink. Um, the other thing you will need is lots of hair bands to tie your hair up. Um, and this is optional, but I find it really useful. It's like a turban thing. You can look for these on eBay. They're about a pound each they're so cheap and um, it's made of microfiber so you basically you can put it on your head twist all your dreads up into it and then you're sorted you can just leave it alone you can sleep in it and everything it's really really useful so when i'm dyeing my dreads this is how i do it i start which way is the best way to do it i start at the bottom so what i would do is i would take all of my hair and tie it all up into a pineapple on top of my head like that and then I take the bottom dreads and put the dye on these ones. And the way that I do it is I kind of squeeze the dye into my hands and make like a kind of this motion and a rubbing motion. You want it and squeezing, you want to really squeeze it all in there um, and make sure every dread is coated. You can kind of go around, check, you know, are they all done? Then when this section is done, take your pineapple, <laughs> take another little layer of the hair down do that layer, take another layer down, do that layer, until eventually all your hair is done. Um, and then kind of at the end, you wanna gather them all up. And if you can tie them on a pineapple on top of your head, my hair isn't actually long enough for that anymore. So I would, at that point, I would use my turban to tie all my hair up, do it up. Um, onto the top of my head so it's not in the way. So the best way I've found for keeping the color in on my dreads is I leave the dye in overnight. Now, I have watched videos where people say, oh, you shouldn't do this because, um, I guess it would depend on the type of dye that you're using. If you're using one that's, one that's quite conditionary, conditionary -y? conditioning, 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 um, I wouldn't do it because it might make your dreads fluffy. Um, I use this crazy color stuff and I find that it works for me. Um, my dreads are a year old, so I think that helps. Um, I wouldn't do, I wouldn't leave it on overnight on young dreads because it might make them soft and it will probably make them fall apart. It might be a bit scary in the morning. They might go a bit fluffy. So you want to leave all the dye on your hair overnight. Um, and then in the morning when you come and wash it off, um, <clears throat> you just want to go through section by section, wash it off. Um, and then I take each section, once the water's running clear, then I put some soap on it or shampoo, 
you know, scrub it all through, wash it. You kind of want to do like a squeezing motion rather than a fluffing motion because that might encourage the hairs to pull out. You just want to be gentle with them. Um, it does take a while. It is a bit of a pain. Um, so I hope this video has been helpful. Um, I, it can be really difficult to dye dreadlocks because it's, if you imagine your hair is like a rope and you're trying to squeeze the dye into the middle part of your hair. Um, and I find as well, if I don't leave the dye on overnight, if I just leave it on for a few hours, it doesn't become apparent for a couple of weeks, but it, then you can see that only the outside part of it is pink. There's something about, I think, leaving it all tied up in the turban, it gets hot and you sleep on it. Helps it like soak into the dread a bit better and it actually dyes the whole lot instead of just dyeing the outside and then you end up with the kind of core in the middle. It's like a weird yellowy color. Um, if you've got any questions or anything, uh, leave a comment down below. I'll try my best to answer you. Um, I hope this was helpful um, and good luck dyeing your dreadlocks. See you next time. Bye.